To create the baby booty, you will need a baby booty loom. I am using the KB Looms baby booty loom that comes in the baby set. You will need a knitting tool, two stitch markers, some yarn. I am using Red Heart Cheek Sheep. Two double pointed needles in a size two. You can use any size as long as they are smaller than a size five. And scissors. Begin with a slip knot. Place it on the peg that has the stitch marker and cast on all around the knitting loom. You can use whatever cast on you prefer. I am using the e wrap non loopy cast on where you skip every other peg on that first round. And then on the second round, you pick up the stitches as follows. Knit the first one, knit the first one, reach behind, twist that working yarn, that, that yarn that's behind, place it on the peg, knit the peg, knit the next one, reach behind for that yarn, twist it, and place it on the peg, knit it. Continue this all around the knitting loom. Round one through eight are the same, and we are going to do the following for round one. You're going to knit two, purl two, all around the, the loom. So let's do knit two, purl two, knit two, Pearl two, repeat this sequence of knit two, pearl two, all the way to the end of the round, and that will be round one. You will repeat round one seven more times for a total of eight rounds. In the next section, we are going to knit five rounds in the knit stitch. So let me show you what that will entail. So go to the first peg, knit, continue knitting all around the knitting loom. You will do this for five rounds. I just completed the five rounds of knit stitch. I am ready to begin my heel. I have a stitch marker on the first peg. Now I am going to place a second stitch marker on the 12th peg. This will help me in maintaining count for the heel. For the heel, we are going to work what is called a German short row. And by short row, I mean that you will go to a certain point and you won't knit all the way to the end, but instead you go to a certain point and then you knit back in the opposite direction that you came from. So let's show you how, it's, how that's done. I will be demonstrating the entire heel. So just stay here with me and follow along. So knit from peg one all the way, all the way to peg 12. So to the stitch marker. Here I am at peg 12 right now, knitted as normal. And now you're gonna bring the working yarn to the front of the peg 
you're gonna tug gently bringing it to the peg number 11 look at that little those this is the back of the stitch that you bring into the front as you tug at it gently and that right there is what we will be using for to prevent the holes that are created with the short rows so now that my yarn is in front of peg 11 you are going to knit it so now you're going to knit from peg 11 all the way to peg 1 so let's show you that process knitting back I am at peg one. I am going to knit it as normal. Then I'm going to gently tug on the working yarn, bringing that yarn to the front of the peg, just like so. And notice how the back of the stitch comes to the front, creating those two loops right there. That's the German short row. Now my yarn is in front of peg two. I am going to knit from peg two all the way to peg 11 so always knitting to the peg before the one that you last did the German short roll here I am at peg 11 I'm knitting it and I'm gently tugging in the working yarn bringing it to the front of the peg to the front of the peg 10 so the peg before it knitting it and now I'm knitting back to peg number two Here I am in front of peg two, knitting it, bringing that working yarn to the front of peg two, tugging at it gently, bringing it to the front of peg three, knitting peg three, and now I'm going to knit all the way back to peg 10. Peg 10, knit it, bring that working yarn to the front of peg 10, to the front of the peg next to it, which happens to be peg 9. Now knit back all the way to peg 3. Here I am at peg three. I'm knitting it as normal, bringing the tugging on the working yarn, bringing it to the front of peg three, taking it to the front of peg four, knitting peg four, knitting back to peg nine. I believe that's where we're at. Let's see. That's the last one right before the one that was wrapped. Take that working yarn to the front, tuck it, it gently, bring it to the peg next to it. Perfect. Knit. Now knit back to peg four. Here I am, front of peg four, knitting it, bringing that working yarn to the front. 
now this is the first part of the heel is done now we're second we're ready for the second part for the first part of the heel we were doing the decreases going in for the heel now for the second part we are going to be doing the increases forming that hourglass that the short row heel has so let's demonstrate the second part of the heel we're still working with German short row so follow along we are in front of peg four, bringing that working yarn to the front of peg four, knitting peg five, and now you are going to knit all the way to the first wrapped peg. So here we are. Here's our first wrapped peg. And you can see it because it has that little bump in the front. So knit it, treating, picking everything out from the bottom to the top your working yarn may want to slip off so hold it tightly there we go and now we are going to wrap German short row wrap the following peg next to it so in this case it will be peg 10 so go ahead and knit it just like you knitted the peg before perfect lift it over and now you are going to German short row here too. So bring the working yarn to the front of the peg and now to the front of the next peg next adjacent to it. So go ahead and knit it. Notice the German short row that you created again there. So now knit in the opposite direction back towards peg to the beginning of the round until you reach the first peg that has the short row on it. In this case, it will be peg four. There we are at peg four, lifting that. Now you're gonna go to the peg next to it, peg three, in German short row in there too, to avoid the hole between peg four and peg three. Right here, you will bring the working yarn to the front of peg three, bringing it to the front of peg four, and knitting peg four all the way back towards peg, towards the end of the round, until you reach the very first peg that has the German short row. In this case, it will be peg 10. Here we are at peg 10, lifting it both, You're going to German short row the next one to avoid that hole between peg 10 and peg 11. So go ahead and knit it. There we go. Bring the working yarn to the front of peg, next to the next peg, knitting the next peg, that peg 10, and now knit towards peg 1, towards peg 1 until you reach the first peg with the German short row on it. In this case, it should be peg three. Here we are, at peg three. Get it. There we go. And now you're gonna wrap again peg two to avoid that hole between peg three and peg two so go ahead do that there go bring the yarn to the front of peg two gently not to the front of peg three and knit from peg three towards the end of the loop of the round until you reach again that first wrapped peg next one which happens to be the last one there we go German show rowing it now bring it to the back to the front of peg 11 and knit from peg 11 towards the beginning of the round 
until you reach that first peg with the wrap on it. Peg one, lifting that German short row over. There we go. Bring it to the front of peg one and knit from peg two all the way to the end to peg 12. That's the last one that's wrapped at this point. Lift up the row, the German short row wrap on that peg 12. That's our last one on that side. If at this point we go back and knit towards peg 1, we will have a hole between peg 12 and peg 13. We want to avoid that hole. Consequently, we are going to German short row on peg 13. So knit peg 13. Now bring it to the front, just like before. Now knit all the way back to peg one. Pick one, lift that, that wrap over. Go. Now to avoid the hole between peg one and the last peg, we're gonna short row on the last peg. So go ahead and knit last peg which in this case happens to be peg 24 bring it to the front creating that wrap in there and now you are going to knit all the way around the knitting loom from this point forward we are ready to create the sole and the instep of the little booty so go ahead and knit all the way around the loom as normal when you reach the peg 13 that has the wrap on it just treat it as normal just lift it up just as you will be knitting just normally okay our heel is taking form you can see it right here the little cup that is being formed it's looking great there's your ribbon My heel is complete at this point and you are free to remove that stitch marker so you don't get it confused with the first stitch marker that you have on peg one. So I'm going to remove it. Go 
continue knitting to the end of the round. This is our first round of the sole and instep. And the entire sole and instep is done the same way with the knit stitch. Repeat the last round 14 more times and then at that point you will create the toe repeating the same instructions as you did for the heel. Once you have completed the toe, I will come back and I will demonstrate how to do the Kitchener stitch including removing the stitches off the knitting loom, putting them in the two uh, double pointed needles and closing the toe. Let's get you to that point. I have finished the toe in on my sock and it is looking pretty good. Here we have the cuff, the heel, the sole, and the step and I finished the toe. I am ready to remove it. For this process you are going to need the two double pointed needles and we're going to be doing the Kitchener stitch. First I am going to show you how to remove the stitches off the knitting loom. For this you will start on the last peg. So the peg before the stitch marker. With your knitting tool, remove it and place it on the knitting needle. Continue all around the knitting loom in that process. Removing them and placing them on the needle. And you will place 12 stitches, so half of the stitches onto this double pointed needle. All the stitches are on the double pointed needles. Notice how they are mounted. To set it up, you are going to purl to the front. So for purling, you enter with your tapestry needle from right to left. and you're going to leave the stitch on the knit on the knitting needle. Now you're going to knit the back on the back needle. To knit, simply insert your tapestry needle through the front of that stitch and leave the stitch on the needle. This is the setup. Now to begin removing them, you are going to Go back to the front needle and knit it off. So enter from the left to the right, remove that stitch, perfect. And now you are going to purl the second stitch on that front needle. Needle. So from right to left, enter and leave that second stitch on the needle. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the back. You are going to purl, so enter from the right to the left and remove the stitch, perfect. Now you're going to knit the back, so enter from the left to the right, and leave that stitch on, on that needle. Perfect. Now we're going back to the front, and we just keep repeating those steps. Knit off, knit it off then purl and leave it on the back you're gonna purl it off 
knit and leave it on. Repeating those steps until you have removed all the stitches. So going back to the front, you're gonna knit it off, purl and leave it on. Back, you go purl off, knit it and leave it on. Now you are going to poke your yarn tail, your needle through that last one, through the wrong side, pull it so you can bring those little corners in. The last thing you need to do is weave in all the ends. Remember this is going to be for a baby so ensure that this is nice and tight as you weave it in. Okay. Here's the baby sock. We started with our cuff and gripping. Then we did the five rounds of knit stitch. Then we did the German short row heel. Then we worked about 14 rounds of knit stitch for the sole and the instep. Then you repeated the instructions for the heel to create the short row, German short row toe. And then we bound off with the Kitchener stitch. That was right here. Thank you for joining me.